This is Business Analytics Using Forecasting, and I'm Galit Shmueli. In this video, I'm going to interview Professor J.C. Wang, who's the Associate Vice President at National Tsinghua University for General Affairs. Welcome to our interview. Um, as VP for General Affairs, can you tell us a little bit about what the job means? Okay, uh, our job is to provide a safe and comfortable environment for teaching, learning, and research on campus. And uh, we are actually in charge of the uh, maintenance uh, and the effective use of the campus space, and also for uh, construction and the renovo renovation of the entire campus facilities. Okay, yeah. great. So as uh, being in charge of all the facilities and transportation on campus, um, can you tell us what kind of examples of, can you give us some examples of what kind of data the Tsinghua University systems capture? Okay, uh, I can give you some examples. For example, uh, we uh, collect the electricity usage data so that we can uh, better control which the department or which building is using uh, higher than standard. Okay, and also we collect data about uh, uh, the, the, the bus schedule so the student knows, uh, so we can better serve students when uh, they have to go to uh, class from one building to another building. We can serve them better and then uh, increase their, their uh, so, uh, sat satisfactory uh, feeling. And uh, also we also uh, uh, control, uh, also monitor data for some uh, poisonous material because we are a research university where we have many kinds of uh, experiments conducting on campus. Some of them are using some of the uh, liquid or material that can be poisonous. So we have to keep these kind of data on record so we can know whether they, uh, the waste disposal, disposal is uh, safe or do they have doing the right job for a certain kind of material. So with so many different data sources, um, you have data about buildings and about utility usage. Um, you have data about students and their enrollments and the classrooms that they will be sitting in mm -hmm. and about their movement in campus. Um, what kind of forecasts would help? What would you like to have been able to forecast? Okay. Uh, one of the forecasts we can do better is uh, to monitor the electricity usage because we have, a, we have signed a contract with the electricity company. So it's, uh, if we can use in the electricity among the specified quota, then we can pay a regular amount of money for that. But we, you, our usage is uh, going beyond the, the specified quota, then we have to pay some kind of extra penalty for that. So it's very important for the university to uh, have better control of the electricity usage. So we can, for example, uh, encourage some uh, experiment to be conducted in the night time or sometimes we uh, have some class or some uh, heavy usage of the electricity event to take place in the night time. Okay. And the other thing is like uh, for bus schedule. Okay. We see a student going from one class to another class. Uh, we have to uh, keep record of uh, who is going from where. For example, some of the students coming from outside campus so they were coming from the main entrance to the building. Some students actually live in, live in the dormitory, so their travel distance is only from the dormitory to the building. Okay, so we have to take all this into account and then to uh, de decide where to locate our bus. And then because the bus is not owned by our campus, we kind of rent it from some bus company, so we have to provide them a, a fixed schedule so that they can uh, send the bus to campus. So it's not like some students say that, why don't you send a bus when we have a long line here? We cannot do that. We have to have a schedule so that the bus company can arrange the, the, the bus. Okay. And the other thing we, we try to uh, do some, have some better uh, forecast is the cafeteria usage. We, we know many students come to a cafeteria at about some, around noon time. Okay, and then no matter how big the space is, we cannot provide all the service at the same time. So we had to better monitor the students' usage and then to provide some kind of a coupon or provide some discount for students so they can better uh, allocate and then uh, the students don't feel it's too crowded when they, use, uh, when they have the lunch. 
Yeah. Great. So these are three great examples of why the university can actually use forecasts based on the data that they collect on their utility usage, on student information systems, and from different transportation um, uh, and from different transportation sources. Thank you very much for sharing this with okay. us, and I hope that we can help with forecasting more on our campus. Yeah. Good. Thank you.